Have you heard the term short sale but aren't sure what the heck that is? Have you heard you can get a great deal on a house through a short sale? Well, if you're wondering what the heck a short sale is, sit tight because I'm gonna explain all about real estate short sales right now. Welcome back to my channel. I am Jody Cordell, the savvy agent from Spence Properties right here in Crestview, Florida. If this is your first time here, well, I'm glad that you found me and I hope that you find this content valuable. So let's get into it. First, let's answer the first question. What is a short sale? Let's say that you're a homeowner and you've gotten really far behind on your mortgage payments and you've gotten so far behind that it's not possible for you to catch up. This could be the result of a family member losing their job or somebody in the family getting really sick or even worse, passing away. Uh, maybe the main breadwinner of the family tragically dies. There's a million reasons that life can just change on a dime and really change your ability to pay your bills. So let's just say you're less left with a house and a mortgage that you can no longer afford to pay. You go to your lender and you discuss your options and the lender suggests a short sale. What that means is that the lender is willing to accept the proceeds from the home sale to satisfy the mortgage instead of the amount actually still owed. And ideally, the homeowner won't be responsible for the balance afterwards. A short sale is a way for the lender and the homeowner to avoid foreclosure. So in order for a short sale to actually be considered, a couple of things have to be true. One, that the homeowner can't get back to black with the mortgage. There's no way they can get caught up. So usually because of some life changing situation, there's no lo they're no longer able to pay the mortgage. And two, and this is a big one, the housing market must be down enough for the home to be worth less than the actual mortgage that's still owed. Or the homeowner has to be upside down on the mortgage. That second one is a big deal. We've been in a seller's market and an inventory shortage for quite a while. So if you are the homeowner in this situation, and you, you would wanna make sure that you needed a short sale before you move forward with the lender. In other words, if you could sell the home yourself and make up the difference, you'd be in a much better position financially than if you went with the short sale through the lender. In many instances, the lender would rather you sell it before it gets to the point of having to consider a short sale. However, if you are facing foreclosure, working with your lender on a short sale will save you from having to go through that process. And if you can sell the home quickly at a good price, it will go really far helping you salvage your standing with the lender and with your credit score. As a buyer, does a short sale present an opportunity? Well, it's a possibility. But one thing you need to keep in mind is the lender will have to have the final say in whether your offer is accepted or not. They're not in any hurry to offload the property. In fact, they'll keep the property on the market as long as they need to in order to recoup as much of their losses as possible. So you can get a deal on a home sometimes, but the process also takes a much longer period of time than a regular sale because you're gonna have to wait for approval from the lender. And if they don't like the deal that you've signed with the seller, they'll kick it out and cancel the contract. And then you'll have to start all over again. It doesn't mean that you can't put in another offer on the home. It just means that you have to start the process over again. I have personally witnessed a house on the market as a short sale that had several offers kicked back by the lender. It can be a really frustrating situation, but if you have the patience and the determination, you can end up with a lovely property at a great price. One thing about strategy you should know, don't try to swindle your way into a short sale. It's a complete waste of time. And remember, the bank is agreeing to the short sale, but they still want to recover as much of their losses as possible. So if you're considering buying a short sale, make a reasonable offer. That'll give you a better shot at getting your offer accepted by the lender. If you are considering buying a short sale property, don't do it alone. It's a little bit more complicated than a regular sale. Hire a real estate agent like me to help you through this process. And if you're selling your home as a short sale, using a real estate agent will help you get your home sold faster and for more money, which will make your lender very happy. So tap into those resources to help you through what can be a difficult sales process. I hope that answers some of your questions about short sales. If you like this content, be sure to hit that like button and drop me a comment below and let me know what other questions you might have about short sales or about real estate transactions in general. Again, I'm Jody Cordell, the savvy agent with Spence Properties here in Crestview, Florida, and I will see you on the next video.